Hey everyone, it's Mike Hayes here with Top Water Fishing, and I'm here to show you guys my fish tanks today. This is my first video for the YouTube channel, so uh, please enjoy. Um, first off, here's my Community 55 gallon. I have a mix of black Moscow slash blue tuxedo guppies in here. They're very pretty. I don't. I think I've created my own breed. I'm not sure. Please leave a comment if if you know. But uh, these guppies are beautiful. See, there's a black Moscow right there. There's there's a female. There's one of the hybrids right there. You see, they're like they're like they're like half blue, half silver, and their tails are very beautiful. That's a black Moscow. Those are black black Moscows. See, oh yeah, here's here's a pretty fish. But uh, I also have albino quarries in here. I have a uh, bristlenose pleco green dragon in here that breeds, but you can't see him right now. He's hiding. Um, I also have silver tip tetras. They're over here in the school. I have seven in here. One just died yesterday, unfortunately. I think it's because of the water change, but um, it's unfortunate. There's one of the bristlenose plecos baby fish so this is my 55 gallon community tank down here is my 30 gallon that I have for like all types of different guppies this is where like I breed the hybrids see they're all different types of colors that one's one of my rarest ones I don't know if that's a new breed or not please let me know see you love showing off for the camera this is uh, one of my blue gold tuxedos. Black Moscow in there. All different types of guppies in here. I just cleaned this tank. You see, it's a, it's a waterfall aquarium. But I don't like the water to be low, so I just fill it to the top. And I've got lots of uh, moss in here. Got a sponge filter that barely works. We'll see if a bubble, yeah, a bubble comes up. <laughs> and I have a bristle nose in here. But all right, let's move on to the 55 gallon in the back that houses my angelfish. In here, I have a big common pleco, but the stars in here are my angelfish. I've had this angelfish for about eight years now. She's um, she's bred, bred with me plenty of times, but I think she's gotten too old and she doesn't like to breed anymore. Her eyes are red, so it looks like she likes to she wants to breed, but. I don't know if this male is compatible with her or not. She's She's been through three males already. So I think she's just sad and doesn't like it anymore. This is also where I have um, some bristlenose plecos in here. A lot of snails. Let me know if you want some snails. See, I, yeah, there's a big pleco on the back. This tank is kind of dirty on the bottom from all the snails. I just changed the water so it's a little foggy. But just bear with me. Um, now this tank up here, this is where my, I'm, I just bought three baby largemouth bass that are pellet trained. They're going to be going up here. Now I have a lot of guppies and ghost shrimp in here just waiting for him. See there's a ghost shrimp that just jumped. They're all here if I zoom in. Oh, there he's eating a pellet. <laughs> I actually have I fallen in love with these with these ghost shrimp, and it's really sad that I'm gonna have to see them get eaten by the bass. But I'm still I'm still so excited. There's the albino bristle nose in the back. These are where my black mask black black Moscow's are, but uh, they're deformed and and uh, not very healthy. Even though they're still pretty. So I don't mind if the bass just eat him. And let me know if you like this. I set up this kind of like sump area with three 10 gallon sponge filters and some moss on top. A lot of filter media, volcanic rock. Um, a lot of bacteria should be able to grow on there. But uh, I'm gonna keep the females in there. So they just breed and the babies just go over to the bass and the bass will eat them. But tell me if you like this fish tank. I just created it. 
Um, it's very pretty. I like all the moss on the bottom. I think the bass are going to like it a lot and the wood. But this is my favorite tank. I can't wait for the bass to come. I'll update you guys when the bass come and I'll show you guys what's up. But for now, this is Michael Hayes signing out. Showed you guys my fish tanks. Just stay tuned and um, stay subscribed for the bass videos that are coming next week. All right, thank you. Bye.